What's up Multiverse, Dr. Dave here. Welcome to the Geek Lounge. On today's video, we're gonna be opening up the latest WrestleCrate UK subscription mystery box. And so this is the March box freshly delivered in this morning. So I think I've got the carded items here. So yeah, that's the cheat sheet. We don't wanna check that out just yet. So here, watch me. History of Onita in FMW. As part of your WrestleCrate subscription, take a hardcore walk through the history of Atushi Onita in Frontier Martial Arts Wrestling. You get a link there for YouTube, at least I believe it's YouTube, right? Yeah, it says YouTube, and uh, a QR code to scan as well. This isn't exclusive to anyone's box, so if you guys wanted to pause, check that out, grab the link, there you go. So let's search for the pin, that's what I always do first. No, no, I thought that was the pin there. No, here's the pin. So we've got something else in a wrapping, but here is the pin first and foremost. I think I had it upside down. Hey, we have Sting, that's pretty cool, pretty fitting as he just retired, what, a month ago? Was it even a month ago yet? Do we have the Chase variant though? Not 100% sure what even is the Chase. Because if you guys didn't know, there is an original and a Chase variant you can get from the WrestleCrate UK pins, but they kind of look the same to me there, is, is one. Ah, uh, you know what, there is like a slight glow if you guys can make that out on that version, like on the Chase version, so I don't think I have the globe. Certainly doesn't look like it. Still a really cool pin regardless, part of that stained glass, I think that's what they're calling it, that kind of design. But uh, yeah, it's been an age since I pulled a Chase, I have to say, but still very cool. Right, let's do that thing in a wrapper next. Maybe a keychain? It is indeed. Not sure what it's a keychain of. Let's find out together. So there you go, guys. If you can make that out, I can't see from here. Is it even in focus? I hope it's in focus for you guys. So, oh, good. What is that? Uh, it's like a hardcore kind of keychain, like a, um, a a trolley with a trash can, stop sign, fire extinguisher, kendo sticks. Uh, again, if you guys can make that out, I think that is in focus for you guys. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. A nice little addition, I suppose. Right, so what else have we got in here? There's the t-shirt, maybe two signed art prints. Was there supposed to be two in here? I can't entirely remember. Uh, comic or magazine, probably Inside the Ropes, the latest issue. And what is this? Something bendy, maybe a magnet, actually. It is indeed. We have a magnet here. Let's watch 90s wrestling. At least I think that's what it says. It does indeed are with a VHS. That's pretty cool. Um, I guess, well, is the magnet actually in the style of a, of a VHS, pardon me? I suppose it's not, but uh, yeah, the whole like tape trading community back in the day, I was certainly a part of it. So that is a pretty cool little magnet. So I think this is probably the latest issue of Inside the Ropes. Let's see, yes, it is. On the back, we've got Inside the Ropes, collect them all. Uh, like a bunch of wrestling yearbooks. You know what, that is pretty cool. They may be some interesting things to actually check out. Although a little bit pricey, $14.99. Depends if you get your bang for your buck or if you just really care about looking at this stuff online. And then, uh, yeah, a bunch of information. Trish Stratus speaks to ITR, The Rock's Midas Touch, Management Mayhem, Cena, Anger, Elimination Chamber, Wrestling in Greensboro, and So Long Sting. Uh, must confess, I don't read these, but they are always a cool addition to a subscription mystery box, particularly a wrestling one. So it feels like we have two signed art prints in here, so we are going to have a co-main event and main event this time round. But let's do the t-shirt first. Normally the t-shirt designs from WrestleCrate UK are absolute fire. I loved the Shining Wizard one, if you guys can kind of make that out from last month's box. Let's see this one. Looks quite colourful. I like the design of it already, white, orange. Black, I'm not really sure what it is though, so I'm gonna show you guys first. There it is. I really can't see from here at all what it says. We have, I wanna live that way forever. Sportatorium, tonight I walk with my brothers. World class Dallas Sportatorium. Was that like um, Texas wrestling? Something to do with that, I think. Um, must say I'm not massively versed in that. I, you know, it's, I, I think it was probably before my time, but, uh, it's still a really, really cool t-shirt, really, really cool design, uh, especially for like old school wrestling fans. I think this would be cool, but I do like it a lot. Let me know what you guys think. So it's co-main event time, guys. One of our two signed art prints. I know who the main event is. Did they advertise the co-main event? They may have, and I've just forgotten, but here we go. Uh, is that Mustafa Ali that I'm seeing there in the screen? It is indeed Mustafa Ali, 2024 in Ali We Trust. 
I mean, this one's not so bad. Like, I always kind of dislike it when they sign over themselves. It maybe could have been down here or up here. But you know what? I think the placement this time round is pretty good. And it's, um, yeah, pen looks good. Not particularly streaky. Maybe not the most elaborate of signatures or autographs. But you know what? That is a pretty cool print. A um, landscape or horizontal one, if we want to put it that way as well. Don't really see too many of those. It's main event then time, guys. Who do we have for our signed art print in the March box? WWE Hall of Famer Kane. Very, very cool. Let me just show you guys the signature there as well. It's kind of, is it really like an autograph? He's kind of more written his name with a bit of kind of stylized handwriting, if that makes sense, but still looks really cool. I mean, I am a bit of a sucker for placement. Maybe it could have been a little bit further away, but that's being massively pedantic. I do always say though, I would love for them, like if they use different color paint pens, but I understand, you know, the silver Sharpies, black Sharpies, they're just so much easier to come by, they're cheaper. Um, and paint pens can obviously be a little bit annoying in terms of drying and whatnot, but that just would have been sick, a bit higher in the corner with a red paint pen. Yeah, it would have been awesome, but yeah, a really cool signed art print once again. I feel this box was actually loaded this month. And in fact, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is the second signed Kane art print they've done. I think they did one maybe a couple years back as well. Uh, I wasn't actually getting the box then, so I'm really happy that we've got this one now. And let's quickly go through the cheat sheet, guys, to make sure we didn't miss anything. So we have Kane exclusive autograph, Mustafa Ali exclusive autograph, Sportatorium exclusive t-shirt, Inside the Ropes magazine number 43, Three, stained glass showtime pin, wrestling weapons trolley coin. Ah, so it's a trolley coin. That's actually pretty cool. Even cooler than just being a keychain. 90s wrestling fridge magnet and history of Anita in FMW. And as always, guys, we do get the advertisement of the main event for next month's box. Check it out. We will get a Ruby Soho signed art print. Very, very cool. But yeah, guys, that's it for the WrestleCrate UK March box. And that is therefore going to do it for today's video. So first and foremost, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me here on the Geek Lounge. It is very much appreciated. And I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If so, be sure to give it a thumbs up and drop some comments below. Let me know how all the items pulled in the March box. Which one was your favorite? And as always, we've got plenty more content on the way for you guys. We have April's box next month. It'll probably be around the 26th. 27th or 28th that's when they normally drop and of course we have the usual fungo lego statues figures and tcg speaking of tcgs we have a tcg video coming this friday and speaking of fungos we have a fungo video coming this saturday as well so make sure you guys stay tuned for that and much much more what is the easiest way to stay tuned you ask it's very simple subscribe hit click smash that subscribe button and enable the notifications so you don't miss out on any of that future content guys thanks again for watching today's video and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out, nerds.